Oh, I want to be mining before 2030. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I think, I think that if we can get the right support and the right group of people together, um, and we do our job properly, um, we can be mining before 2030. The resource in our field is, is probably in the order of about $4 billion in, in potential value. Um, so that's value, that doesn't mean how much money you're going to make. Yes. Uh, obviously uh, there's costs and so forth that go against it. Um, but when we look at our economic analysis, the project is profitable. Um, yeah. The project makes money and it makes good money. We'd really be the guinea pigs uh, of this industry, um, going first in, uh, blinded, I would say, by not really being made aware of the risks involved. Um, so yeah, it could have long-term implications in terms of our credibility as a tourist destination. Um, it's it's a risky risky move. For Pacific Islanders, our, our ocean is like our food basket. It's our, our life source. Um, it's a part of our culture. Uh, we rely on it so much. So uh, we need to really be making sure we're looking at the health of our ocean and keeping it healthy for the next generation to come after us. Our ancestors respected that ocean. Uh, we fear the ocean and therefore, in a way, it's, it's protected. Um, we never, we're never about exploring the bottom of the ocean because our ancestors believe it's the place of the gods. We don't belong there. <laughs>